Hey guys, and welcome to day vlogmas day. Is it six today? Yes, it is. She's day the six. You may notice that as we get closer and closer to Christmas, I start to forget the days. Pretty slow, but anyway. This morning I've been pretty hectic busy. Last night I did like heaps of cupcakes and I feel like it's still not that much. But anywho, I thought I'd show you what they look like. So <sighs> I'm not exactly happy with them, but all good. Um, I couldn't find any containers because I only actually have two containers. Um, the other ones that I have uh, mums and dads. And then this one here doesn't have a lid. Um, and I gave the ones that I used for a bake sale that I did recently back to mum and dad not knowing that I actually needed them again so I've got quite a bit of stuff that kind of like could have been condensed down to another container but all good so these are probably my best ones because I've got cute little hearts on them and these are my ugly ones <laughs> and I found these Christmas tins you know when you get like um, Christmas what do you call it? Biscuits from people? I think this one here I brought last year actually. And it's for fruit cakes. But yeah. So I think with this other one I'm just gonna have to cover it with a tea towel. Maybe I'll get a Christmas one. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a Christmas one. Sorry, this is really, really unorganized. Oh my god, where are the Christmas ones? I have... Oh, there it is. We'll use this one here. Came out, yo! That's where I got this from. So good. So I'm going to display them in this and then have that underneath it and I'm going to cover it with these because um, part of our license is that you have to have the food covered hence why they're all in containers they all have to be covered um, so and it looks like it's going to be quite a nice day today so hopefully these don't like melt or anything like that but, but if you're wondering what the heck are you doing Leah so my work we are trying to raise funds for breast care Taranaki and we did a bake sale at a Kapaka festival in October and we want to do some more stuff, but it's just because it's so close to Christmas. So we thought we would do a sausage sizzle today. And I thought I would sell some cupcakes as well. And all proceeds go to Breast Care Taranaki. So we are supporting a local charity, um, which I think is really important. And if you don't know much about Breast Care Taranaki specialist, or specialist Taranaki, <laughs> they pretty much, they um, assist women when they've gone through like a double mycostomy, is that what it's called? When both of their uh, breasts have been removed or even one breast has been removed and they need those bras. And those bras are freaking expensive. So I feel like I complain about my boobs and the size of them, but really I've got nothing on what these brave women have to go through. such a freak so yeah I'm gonna get going and I'll show you when we get there hopefully if I'm not too ashamed to pull out the camera people see that I'm not but ha if you guys check out hello Harriet man she just vlogs right in public so I give it up to hands up to her man hands up to her Down here at the warehouse. Got my cupcakes out. Hey, I die with the oh, I'm vlogging. Oh. This is Kitty. She's on the barbecue. She's on the barbecue. So we're still here at the warehouse. And Kitty is making me a delicious sandwich after already eating three sausages. <laughs> Hello everybody, so I'm finally home from our cool sausage sizzle bake day. It actually, we, we actually ended up going longer um, and um, we just wanted to go until we sold everything, which we pretty much did. We, we probably have like maybe, I don't know, 20 sausages left or something like that and like we only had three cupcakes, so I'm quite stoked about that. But half of my cupcakes got squashed on the way over to the warehouse, so... 
I ended up just giving them to some of my work colleagues, they took them back to work and ate them and I just gave some randomly away. And now I'm at home, freaking hot, I don't know if you can tell, I feel so flustered and hot. And I've just changed into something really summery. This dress here, I freaking love it, except um, it's broken, so it's kind of only fit for at home because... This, the tie thing's broken, so it's one of those kind of really relaxing dresses. I actually bought it in Fiji. It was such a rip-off, but <laughs> I don't know how to talk to the locals there. Unfortunately, I went off by myself, and they charged heaps. Well, that's what Avi said, but anyway. Um, so now I'm just in my room, um, and I'm going to get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to edit yesterday's vlog. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is this cute little Santa baby outfit that we got for our dog Delilah while she was around. She's not here anymore, but um, she got to wear it one Christmas. I just thought it was so cute. You can get cute little outfits like this for your pets from Animates. This is where we got this one from. I was going to sell it, but it, is this creepy? But there's still a little bit of Delilah's fur on there. So that's why I don't want to get rid of it. Oh my god. See? Her fur. Freak! This pamphlet kind of contradic contradicts this pamphlet. I quite like Alice Pizza though. It's quite good. But maybe, maybe Avi, this is, this is a little message for you. <laughs> don't do that. You're doing it to not only to me, but to the viewers. So I'm getting really, really hot and frustrated because I am trying to sort out our clothing situation. Me and Avi have tons of clothes. So I've moved this drawer into our spare bedroom and this has actually got all my clothes in it. Like, check out the pyjama part. Just jam-packed full of pyjamas. And what I've decided to do is transfer all our stuff that's in the room like winter stuff into here so this is just this ain't all of it I'm just starting now but what a good idea why didn't I think about this when we lived in our other house like we had two bedrooms in this house we've got three so we've got so much more space but the only thing about having the main drawer in here and this is literally just my drawer it's my actually I've had this since I was a child this is how old this drawer is um, the only thing is, if I do ever have guests in this bedroom, this is our spare bedroom, and look at all the clothes that are on there, um, the only thing is, I don't want to disturb them when they're in this room, so I'm thinking that I'll, like, have most of my clothes in here, but like, underwear and stuff like that, I need it somewhere, somehow put in the other room, because, yeah, that's kind of vital, and I don't really want to be coming into a spare room just to get underwear, you know? So, yeah, I just felt really inspired to organise my summer winter wardrobe and get rid of all the winter stuff. And So far, this is what's made the goodbye can't be reused at all. A pair of thermals. The elastic band has just gone and it just... Yeah, these always fall down when I wear them, so... Goodbye. Oh, my wardrobe feels so organised now. So this is just all my summer stuff. Actually, this ain't all my summer stuff. I forgot that there's actually a whole bunch of washing that I just brought in today. But I just feel like it's just so organised. I've got tops here, dresses, kimonos, summery jackets. Because in the summer, sometimes here in Taranaki, it can be, you know, jacket material. Weather. Two cardies, because I find that cardies are great in any season. These are all bottoms, a tunic, a little jacket blazer thing. This is just this vest thing that I wore on my Hickey Island. Um, if you were wondering why the heck we were in like 80s inspired clothing, it's because the theme was 80s, so I wore that. But it's actually quite cool. It's like a, it's quite cool, like you can wear it over a singlet. I can't even get the whole picture of it in. But anyway, I got this from Boohoo, so I thought that this could still be worn in the summertime but yes it's also organized and then this is Avi's like seriously this guy has way too much clothing the only thing is we've got a mixture of different what do you call it hangers 
plastic. I freaking hate plastic, but I just can't be bothered getting. And these, I just can't be bothered getting the wooden ones. And these wooden ones for like a pack of freaking five is like ten bucks. It's ridiculous. Unless you went to Kmart, which we don't have. So now this area is looking absolutely empty. Have to do a bit of a vacuum, but at least we've got more room to like move around in here. You know, so I can dance. Not. So I've got my trusty Manuka Doctor face mask on and also a Bior nose strip. And I just took off our duvet, um, the second duvet that we usually put on in the winter. Because it's officially that time of the year where we can actually just sleep in one. Even this is getting hot, like I'm pretty much sleeping in, um, what do you call it, in the just a sheet. But anyway, my room has a lot more room in it now, but I don't like this beer war. I don't know what to do with it. And this drawer looks out of place because it's not centred with the bed, and I don't know. <laughs> like, this is my two main pieces of furniture that I want to remain in this bedroom because they're just really nice pieces of furniture but the rest of them are like budget as don't mind the um, pillowcases that aren't matching at the moment the other ones are in the wash but anyway I just need to get rid of some stuff or do something but anyway this wall is bare and I hate this wall as well because it's bare it doesn't have a lot going on so what do you guys think? What could I do to amp it up? Obviously the main one is pictures, but sometimes you can have too many pictures. Like this picture here I like because my friend made it. She drew that. I've got some pretty creative friends. Anyway, I am chilling. I haven't done a lot this afternoon or evening. I've just really just like how to organize, tried organizing my wardrobe and I officially I, I need hangers like there's still stuff that needs to be hanged up and of course I'm watching you guessed it why is it that I'm always paused on Spencer Internet. anyway I'm going to end the vlog here because I don't think I'm going to vlog anymore but I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog bye